Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Callie and I love everything that there is to do with makeup from unboxing to hauling, reviewing, and everything in between. Um, I've kind of been on hiatus because I've been sick as a dog. So if I sound a little off, that's why. But I really miss filming and I really just want to play with makeup. It's been a minute. I've been filming it without putting on any makeup. So I am ready to actually play. I Cora's at the door upset because she's not coming in. So featuring her probably for five minutes, maybe five minutes. She'll get over it. But we are diving in. Oh, before I get started, um, if you haven't already, go on and subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. And it is free. I'm going on and put my primer on because this is not a part of um, really what I'm trying on. So I figure I'll put it on while I'm talking. Um, today we are diving in to the subscription box products for the month. And to be honest, I got pretty much a full face the only thing I didn't get for the face is concealer and setting powder and I got a liner but I'm not going to use it because I have so many already open but I am going to use a new liner that I haven't used yet so but that is open so I just dove in let's go on and get started I dove in with the Yenza color face tone up primer essential glow because they say that it pairs the best with the foundation that I added on in my Ipsy bag. And this is the Yenza Skin on Skin BC Foundation. So we are going in with this. It is in the shade Light Neutral. I, I didn't color check this, by the way. So there's that. Oh, but it looks like it's going to be all right. I mean, if it's a little dark, I'm not going nowhere because, you know, quarantine. So, let's dive in. Fix my mirror. There we go. Okay, so it's not very, very full coverage. She's so ag. Stop it. And to be honest, it doesn't really, I'm struggling to get product out and I just opened it. I apologize, you guys. I'm hoping she gets over herself soon. Okay, so it's more full coverage than I thought. I just didn't have enough on yet. But it actually is a nice shade. I think. For not, for just going by like a beauty quiz and just being like whatever. Well, actually I chose this. But it shows it to me because of my quiz. It shows me like the shade that would be for me or whatever. I'm very sad though because I might get one more use out of this before it is gone. So I don't really get a chance to like review it like say. But that's okay. Here we are, four minutes in, and I'm still doing my foundation because I'll be talking too much. Also, let's while I'm talking too much, my hair is pulled up with my little Invisibobble, which, I mean, I'll see when I pull it out, but I mean, it doesn't hold too tight, and it seems to hold well, which is pretty cool. So, the foundation looks pretty good laid down. I'm fixing to go off camera real fast, conceal, and set... My under on everything and come back on and 
finish the rest of my face. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back with bronzer real quick before I set the rest of my face. And we are going in with the Ofra bronzer in Americano. And I feel like this might be a bit warm for moi. But we're going to go in with it anyway because we're trying it out. So I never try. I think I knocked most of it off. It might not be too warm. <laughs> it actually blends in. I've never tried an Ofra bronzer before. It actually blends in. I mean, I know I knocked a lot off, but I mean, I put a lot on the brush. And it uh, seems like a little goes a hell of a long way. Look at the difference. I love that. I love... That little sculpted look. So, how is everyone doing in their quarantine lifestyle? Oh, that's just my hair. I've been basically dead for a week. It feels so good to be putting makeup on. I haven't worn makeup in like two weeks, probably. Like, I haven't even been wearing makeup to do my unboxing videos. I've just been very tired. But I'm feeling pretty rested, you know. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope y'all still have toilet paper. LOL, just kidding. If you over hoarded, shame on you. But if you did. If you did or didn't, still live your life. But you should, though. Okay, so I'm actually kind of liking the bronzer. I don't feel like it was too warm, actually. I don't feel like I put enough on this side. But yeah, but see, then I'm going to add more, and then it's going to be like, wow. So I'm not going to put no more. I'm going to quickly go off camera again and finish set. Oh, man. You know what I forgot to use? The concealer brush. I'm going to have to use this in another get ready with me because... I really want to see what that is like, but I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and the face is laid down. And I have to say, I'm actually really liking the foundation. Um, I think it pairs well with the primer. I think that is a really good combo. And I think the bronzer works for me. So I'm actually really excited about that. So maybe it just works for pe different people and different skin tones okay i'm sorry about that if i have to pause really fast it's because i keep coughing <clears throat> also i got this lip balm that i want to go on and put on and i've actually been using it and i really like it i want to try to get in the habit of applying a lip balm before my lipsticks just to keep my lips like moisturized you know okay so up next I am going to be going in with the balm cosmetics auto balm girl powder I can't never get it open this is their little blush palette oh and they have a little highlighting topper for the blush so I definitely want to try it out so I'm actually going to go in with Houston I'm going to go in with the little lightest shade because I really kind of want to top it with that blush topper so I'm using my Alamar complexion brush and I'm dipping in and I they have some fallout I love the balm blushes oh and they have a little mirror so that's nice So that one are really pretty, I find. It's a little more peachy than it looks in the pan. But that's okay. We can make it work. Because I really want to go over it with that topper anyway. Which is what I'm going to dive into now.
I was wondering if it applied better with the finger. Because I'm not really sure if it's picking up on my brush. I feel like that blush made me look a little warm. But <laughs> it's pretty nonetheless. I might have should have went with the excuse me with the shade in the the next shade over but trial and error trial and error you know you know also I got this cute little brush cup so now like the brushes that I'm using when I'm filming aren't like all over the place in front of me they're just in this little cup so that's very exciting I'm sorry okay so we have this little Luxie brush we got in the Ipsy bag this is a Luxie 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush. And I'm going into my Shayna B. Miami Highlight and Guava Glow. And we're just going to pick some of that up. Icora, what you doing? I opened my door because it's getting a little hot in here. Okay. So, I mean, it might be there. It might not. I do like this brush. I'm not really sure if... <coughs> like, it's picking up. Icora. She's... She done got stuck. Bet. She's exploring, but I'm hoping to actually rearrange. So maybe in my next video, there might be a new type of backdrop type thing going on. Maybe a new setup, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm feeling way productive. Kind of wanting to get some things done, you know. So I'm, I'm really not seeing this highlighter. And I feel like it's pointless. So let's turn around real quick like. Get old faithful. And I'm just going to dip into ugly sweater. And just add a little bit. And I think it could be the brush. I think the brush could be losing some product. Because I noticed that this one's having a lot of fallout. But I also can see way more of a glow now that this is on. So we're just gonna. Whoo. That was intense, I know. I'm really excited to use this eyeshadow palette. So that is that. Also, there is a lot of skincare type things that I got in my boxes that are going to be featured in my Skincare Sundays video this Sunday. I had to skip this past Sunday because I was sick and I literally probably couldn't make it a minute without coughing and talking. So yeah, there's that. And now... What we've probably all been waiting for. I probably should put a timestamp below. Like, if you don't want to see everything, start watching at this point. And, booyah. People can skip what they don't really want to see and get right to the eye tutorial part. So, I really like this palette. It gives me very Anastasia Beverly Hills vibe. Icora, you stuck? Let me get her. She made it out on her own. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five matte. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven shimmery type shade. And swipe up kind of looks to be, it is, it's a pressed glitter. Ooh, that's beautiful. What? What? 
What? <laughs> One more time. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Get my handy dandy dirty towel to wipe that off my finger. What I should have did with my highlight, y'all, is I went over it with this little guy. But that's okay, too. So, let's go on and dive straight in. Oh, that brush had black on it. We're not using that. I need to desperately clean my brushes. Okay. So, to start, I'm just going to go into premium. Stop messing stuff up. I'm just going to go into premium right here and use that as a transition shade. And I'm using a Farrah Mini Tapered Blending Brush. And it's a very kind of khaki tan shade. And let me do this so that there's no creasing on the lid. Can't be having all that. And let's dive it right in. Okay, so that actually had a pretty good amount of payoff. I really like the way that it laid down. Very smooth, very nice. So this palette retails for like, I think it was $39.00. Which, in my opinion, is a bit pricey, but at the same time, it's maybe considered kind of luxury-ish. You know, I'm not sure if this is like limited edition or if this is staying, but I really love that first color. It looks very nice. So, let's see what else I'm going to go into. So, I really kind of want to deepen that up so I'm gonna hop into spoiler and I'm probably just gonna try to use every single color that I can probably not these three because they won't I feel like they won't fit but I really kind of want to get this glitter on my lid because I like how it shifts this is gonna be the death of me y'all it will be the death of me Oh, okay. So this is kind of more yellowy undertone-y, I find. So I'm just going to pop that on the inner portion of the crease. I find it's actually kind of mustardy. That's very pretty. These shades blend out very well. Like, I'm barely picking up anything. And they're having, like, really good payoff. I'm actually really glad that this is the palette I received. I saw that some you probably could have gotten the Tarte Remix palette. That was an option that could have been reviewed. So, if that was maybe like a choice, I think I would have liked that. But I'm glad that I got this because I probably would have never bought it. And let's be real, Tarte is always going to be in a subscription box. So, there's that. <coughs> okay, so now I want to go in with we're gonna go in with cup of joe right here which is a nice looks like a kind of neutrally undertoned brown it's actually not as dark as I anticipated. I 
And it's well more on the warm side, definitely. The warm undertoned sun, which is okay. I'm probably going to hop into that unboxing shade to kind of redden it up a little bit, you know. Because, I mean, if we're going to go warm, we might as well go warm. And I really want to try to use as many shades as I can. But these blend out so nice. Excuse my horrible eyebrows. I plan on trying to tend to them soon. They need a haircut. So, and I've been using the same brush, just wiping it off and keeping going because why dirty up all the brushes? So, up next, we're going into the unboxing shade, which is kind of like a maroony shade. And I really just want to see what this does. Picks up very beautifully. <laughs> Icor, would you sit still? Just like sit still. What is that? I'm on an adventure. I don't really ever let them in here. Okay. So I really like what that did to the color itself that I was creating. Okay. Okay. <coughs> So, do that on the other eye. I really like this unboxing shade. I think I'm actually going to take this on my lower lash line. Let's finally switch brushes. So I'm going in with my Moda Pro Smudger brush. And I'm going to go into unboxing. And we are just going to smudge that on the lower lash line. And I really just want to see what this color looks like standing alone. Well, I apologize for that. So we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. Also, I think I know why my highlighter didn't work the way that I normally do it. Well, the way that it normally does. And I didn't spray my face. Like, I didn't set my face before I did my highlight. And I usually do that. But it slipped my mind. And I'm actually going to take premium and just smudge that a little just to kind of blend out the shades. Add a little more depth. Since it's turning into a very nice fall look. I really like, I really enjoy this premium shade. It really blends out really pretty for a warm look. Yes. Okay, so I actually have... A new brush to try <coughs> what is it a precision eyelid brush and I'm actually going to go in with exclusive I want to see what that lays down like and I'm actually gonna put it on the outer corner 
of the lid. Okay, so that's very brown. Well, I ended up taking that everywhere because I really enjoy that shade. But I'm going to go over it with the pressed glitter. But I really like how it deepened up the look. This brush lays it down and quick okay so now I want to take some of the, the press glitter shade swipe up Oh, man's phone. I have the door open so you can probably hear every little thing. So this has a lot more color than I was expecting. So I think I might go back in with unboxing just to kind of add that red back into it that I took away when I put that brown but that is gorgeous it's a very warm look don't get me wrong if you're not into something being extra warm this might not be for you but I have a feeling this would look really good over one of those blue shimmers. Sorry about that. I had to cough. So I just finished putting on the pressed glitter on the side. So I'm going back in and redding it up some more. So deepen out that. And for the inner corner, I love that this came with an inner corner highlighting shade, the shade Pop Up. I really want to see how it performs. We're going to put that on the inner corner. It's actually not as bright as I was expecting it to be but I have a plan I'm gonna put it on the other side but I'm gonna top it with the um wonder beauty shade just so we can see how that works as well and this is in the shade blossom and it's got all of the pigment I'm not really sure if that helped it any, but let's go on and do it on the other side. Oh yeah, I definitely think that looks a bit better. <laughs> do a little something something on the brow from what's left over. Okay. So this is what we have for the eyes so far, and I'm actually going to go in with this Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow Creamy Eye Pencil to do my waterline. So 
So that definitely, definitely has some pigment. Oh, yes. So this actually makes for a great waterline liner. Works wonders. Works fabulous. So I'm actually going to go off camera to do my liner, mascara, and lashes. And I'm going to choose lashes from this month's lashy boxes. So I'll come back on camera and we'll chat about that and I'll pick out which lip product that I'm going to use because I honestly don't think either one of them is going to go with this eye look. So I'll be right back and we'll finish talking about these products. Okay, so here we are with the finished look. So for lashes, I decided to go in with the Fabulashes by Care Beauty in the style A106. And they're actually really comfortable and very nice and lightweight. I struggled to keep to get this one on but this eye started watering so my life um i chose to go in with the phase zero liquid lip because when i swatched them next to each other this one just seemed more nude than this one than the nars one but i definitely plan on trying the nars one in a later video for you guys but i am pretty pleased with everything that I've tried today um nothing really disappointed me I love the eyeshadow palette was bomb I love the eyeshadow palette I really can't wait to dive into the blue shades of it um the foundation looks beautiful on the bronzer the blush everything looks gorgeous um I really enjoyed applying this face today and for a kind of dull boxy looks with everything from everything else, it actually ends up being a pretty good subscription box month. So I'm actually hoping to keep this face on long enough to film a favorite video for you guys for next week. For everything that I love the most this month. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.